Hi everyone, my name is David Meister and today I wanted to talk about changing a gateway node to a worker node and changing a worker node to a gateway node in version 9x. So the things that we will talk about today are first the differences between the gateway node and, and the worker node and changes that you can make in the, in the administrator and changes that you can make at the command line. So first uh, we'll talk about differences between a gateway node and a worker node and for the most part they're they're pretty similar every node gateway or worker has a service manager and a service manager has a list of duties that that it it takes care of and here's a there's a chart on that in the middle of the screen every node can run application services but only gateway nodes are the ones that communicate directly with the domain database and therefore are the ones that will update the the domain tables so let's have a quick look at that so we can see on this on this top putty session we can see um, that this guy we can see that we have the um, this is where the install is and then down here we can see this install and for those of you paying close attention you'll notice that these are two installs on the same server um, the bottom one was originally created as a worker node and the top one was originally created as a gateway node now while we're looking at this top one we can see that domain service it says worker node config so this guy is currently a worker node and then down below for the one that started life as a worker node we can see that it says gateway node config and then also something that's interesting in here is that we see this line that doesn't exist in the upper in the upper one and this is where we have the connection information for the for the database where the domain lives um, in this case it's an Oracle database but this this line right here is 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 important for for a gateway node so we can make some changes in the administrator you can change a worker node to be a gateway node in the administrator and this presumes that there's already a running gateway node and the concept about having a running gateway node is important through the for this whole discussion because not only does the do you have to have a uh, gateway node running for a worker node to be able to run but also um, that power center will not allow you to change a running master gateway node to be a worker node um, because that would that would involve the the, the that particular um, that particular uh, node going down and having some other problems so just just bear in mind that if you have a master gateway you have to switch so that 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 gateway is no longer the master in order to in order to make changes to that so this brings up an important topic what is the difference between a gateway node and a master gateway node we've already talked about how the gateway node is the one that does the direct communication with the domain database but any of the gateway nodes could so if you had a if you have a domain with three gateway nodes one of them is running as the as the master gateway if that one dies the other two fight it out and one of them one of them emerges the master gateway so let's have a look at the administrator just so we can just to, to follow up on on this concept so we go to uh, we go to here and this is a this is the domain this is the administrator for that domain that we were talking about and we can see that we have that uh, node 2 is a gateway node and we can see that node 1 is not so we'll go to the domain and we'll go to properties now we can change we can make some changes here and we can we'll change um, we'll change this guy to be a gateway and let's give it a let's give that a path for the we're going to give it the this is the log directory that that, that one's going to use and control v so we say OK. That's fine. So node 2 was already our master gateway, and we can see that we have two gateway nodes here. Now we're going to change 
we will try and change this so that just for the sake of discussion let's change master uh, node 2 to a worker node and let's see what it does okay see we cannot do that because because we know that node 2 is already the master gateway so we're going to just change it back okay okay and then we are going to let's have a look at this one all right so that's that's an example of one of the changes that you can make in the in the the administrator console so now let's go and have and let's talk about changes that you can make at the command line so we can switch to we can switch to gateway node in at the command line uh, we can switch to worker node at the command line and, and here's an example of the of the commands that I've used um, now before we do that let's talk about some caveats again one gateway at least one gateway node must be running at the time if there's only one gateway no running that's the master the node where you are making the changes must be must be running and if your domain has only one node that node is always the gateway node and you can't change it to be a worker node so let's go and have a look at the command let's go and um, make run some tests with the commands okay so for this this top one this is node one and this is the one where we just we just switched it to be a gateway node in the administrator and um, so I just this we're looking at node meta.xml again now we can see we, that it's a gateway node and here's our here's our our domain here's our domain connectivity information so we are in the info home server bin directory now let's change this guy back to being a worker node and oops that's not what we wanted we will change it back to being a worker node and here's the command that we're going to use on node 1 we're going to do switch to worker node and we'll do dot slash info info cmd switch to worker node there's our domain name username password and on node 1 okay command ran successfully and so when we do let's do the cat again on node meta.xml and I think we're still a little bit uh, let's do all right so now we are a worker node again and just to have fun giving this guy an identity crisis let's switch him back to a gateway node Okay, and the command ran successfully. So now let's let's try and just to just for the sake of discussion, let's try and make some changes on node two. Now on node two, we are going to try and switch to worker node. And I, so control C. Nope, failed with error. The master gateway node of the, do of the domain cannot be changed to a worker node. So, what we will do next is we can see that node 1 is a, is a gateway node, so let's shut this guy down. So we're just going to shut down this node. Okay, so we ran that, and now we can do... We will look at... So we can see that this guy is now... This guy is still a, a gateway node, so we will go ahead and we will do... 
we're going to start this one and because we know that if we're making any changes on a node that the node has to be running but what this is going to mean is that node 1 is back to being the master gateway so now we will do and so on node Two, we should now be able to switch this guy to a gateway node. And it ran successfully. And so we will switch him back to being a gateway node. and we can see that the command ran successfully. So, that kind of that sort of sums up our that sort of sums up the presentation. It's a relatively easy command to run. The the full syntax is in the command reference. And um, if you have any questions or concerns, we'd love to hear from you. And other than that, I hope everybody has an excellent day. Thanks. Bye.